right, guys. So here we are. We're in front of a customer computer. Excuse the mess off to the side. I've had a lot of work lately. Um, that's pretty normal for me. But anyway, um, there is a fairly common issue that occurs with Windows 10 when you go to apply an update. And sometimes it'll create what's called like a temp user profile. This is something not a lot of people understand, but essentially what happens is a temp user profile will be created if data is corrupted and then on your original user profile. And then it'll also be created if, um, say you go through a major update that you just like, you just now had, a, you got a major update that applied, but uh, maybe you should have applied your update sooner, that kind of thing. Um, that's, that's sort of the nature of this. So if you have found yourself in this situation where you update your windows and then you come back and all your icons are gone off your desktop and things are missing, I'm here to help. That's what this is for. So, oh no, my Windows 10 updated and now I have nothing. Well, it's all still there. So for the sake of this customer, I am, um, I'm going to be blurring things out throughout this video just because it's their own personal files. But as you can see right now, we've got the Recycle Bin, Acrobat, Edge, and Chrome. Now, this is going to be a multi-part um, fix because this customer does have um, a corrupted, like not a corrupted, but a bad hard drive, a Seagate drive. It's failed. We know it. If we go to the task manager and pull it up, we can easily see that the drive is failing. Um, it should be sitting at about 100% resource usage always. Uh, right now it's sitting at zero. Okay, it's trying to make me look like a liar here. Either way, a customer has four gigs of RAM and this was spiked up at 100% last time I had this computer turned on. So it does mean that the drive is failing. I know that, so what I'm gonna do um, to fix this issue that I'm talking about, first of all, to get all of this data back, is I'm actually gonna go into the registry. So if you go to, if you press your Windows key plus R on your keyboard, and you type regedit, and then you just say yes, and we need to go to, let's see, hkey local machine, and then I believe it is system, nope, it's actually software, my bad, working off kind of a guide here, so bear with me, and then go down to Microsoft, And then down to Windows NT. Right here, there we go. Current version. I'm gonna expand this out a little bit so we can actually see it. I'm also gonna maximize it. Get rid of this OneDrive junk. Okay. Okay. Windows NT current version and then profile list. And this is really annoying. I'm stupid OneDrive. Profile list. Here we go. Okay. So here's what happens. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. The mouse is a little sticky too. Not trying to right click. Literally not trying to right click. Come on. Come on, trying to create a video here. We'll drag this out a little further. Okay. So each one of these should have a profile in it. Network service, blah, blah, blah. Users temp. Okay, so we can see here that the PFLP3 user has, and I'm gonna try to expand this out even further if I can. Everything on this laptop is a little bit small, okay. So we can see here that this user profile has a BAK behind it. So that's what happens when there's a corruption that's happened during a Windows update. So what we need to do basically is just delete the temp registry key here 
Um, and then, so just delete that entirely and say yes. And then we take this one and we're gonna rename it. We go to the end here and we'll get rid of the .bak. So now, now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and close out the registry editor. And again, we've got the like basically four icons here on the desktop. We're gonna restart the machine. And hopefully, with any luck, everything should come right back the way it was before. Or at least, if there's not backgrounds and stuff, at least there will be, you know, files there. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to actually save, um, there's a whole Microsoft Office set up on this machine and everything, and we don't really want to lose that, so I'm trying to save it. Restart's going to take a little bit here because the hard drive is so terrible in condition, so I'm going to just let it do its thing here, um, and then I'll come back as soon as this gets restarted. Okay, we're back here. It looks like it's loading up after the restart. I fully expect it to take a few more seconds just because of the fact that it's trying to figure out which user profile it should use. And again, we're working this all on a failing hard drive, so please just be aware of that. That's why normally it probably wouldn't take this long if your hard drive was in good condition. But the hard drive may actually be part of the reason that the user profile got corrupted to begin with. So, hmm. Well, please wait. I'm going to let you guys skip that part. I'll do the hard waiting. Okay, zoomed in a little bit so we could see stuff better here. And you don't have to see so much of my hands doing this in front of you. Um, so we're done waiting. Let's see if this worked. With any luck, all of our stuff will be back. What's up, guys? We'll give it a minute and let it figure itself out. Load up the desktop. Here we go. Hey, that's looking better. That looks much better. All right, that's fixed. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here just because this is all his own personal stuff and y'all don't need to necessarily see that. But um, just so you can see the icons and things are definitely back up and running, looking good. So um, I was able to restore that part. And now, now that that's fixed, I'm gonna go ahead and clone the drive off to a new solid state drive. So we've got healthy, a healthy computer and we're going to upgrade that RAM from 4 gigs up to 12. All right, that's it. Thanks. Have a good one.